Good morning, folks. We are seeing the geomagnetic storms calming back down here at Earth, but the active regions are getting spicy on the sun. We've got other top news as well, but let's start with our star where you can see the dark southern coronal hole turning through, followed by the brighter sunspot areas and various coronal motions both there and around the limbs. Eruptive activity is on the rise once again. Thankfully, the solar wind calmed back down here at Earth immediately after yesterday's show, allowing those strong solar storm conditions to wane back to near normal range. Aurora were seen as far south as Colorado and North Carolina. We will continue to monitor the active areas as the coronal plasma indicates eruptive potential is rising. You can see that here in 304 angstroms. will be the top watch today. Meanwhile, the storms in the atmosphere went berserk overnight. After delaying flights throughout the central states, a major tornado system had an outbreak in the lower Mississippi Valley and destroyed several towns with major twisters. Hearts go out to those in the affected areas this morning. The lightning show was tremendous. Quick note here on the next generation of water tracking satellites. As you can see, we're going from gridded values to near perfect tracking of surface level anomalies and those in the ocean. Top science news comes in the earthquake realm. Folks, everything in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun in terms of pre-earthquake anomalies keeps getting confirmed. Electric, magnetic, and frequency anomalies give the big quakes away before they occur. You can get PDF versions of all our books at the link below the video, and we greatly appreciate your support. We're on the East Coast for the Blitz Tour this weekend. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 7 30 a.m in the carolinas eyes open no fear be safe everyone